Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.6 from Nielsen and read the book. So the question is D of M in the circuit in figure P5.6 is ideal. Calculate the following IA, PA, P0, and I0. Okay, let's see the circuit and let's see what we, what we can do. So here one of the terminal of D of M is connected to the ground. So the voltage here will equal to zero okay and so that means that this voltage here is also zero however let's name this node here as pb maybe because pa is this node right so this is pa and let's name this node here as pb pb and let's put a node that pb is equal to zero volt pb is equal to zero volt Okay, and then let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, maybe let's assume this is going there. This is going there and this is going down. This is going to the right. And I just follow this one, I0. And here I will have this one goes down. Okay, and this not here is V0. Let's label that V0. And what can we label again? So we'll have 240 millivolt from the ground. Okay, maybe let's use volt here. So I will have 0 0.24 volt here. Okay, what can we do from here? Okay, let's do KCL at node PB first. KCL at node PB. KCL at node PB. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this current here and the two other currents here and here is going out. Okay, so we'll have 0 0.24. 0 0.24 minus VB, okay, VB divided by 8 is equal to the current that goes into the op M is 0. So I have 0 and then plus here I will have VB minus VA divided by the resistance between them which is 60. Okay, what can we do from here? Maybe let's multiply both sides by 120 to get rid of the denominator. Okay, 60 and 120 will cancel into 2. So we'll have 2 VB minus 2 VA on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, I think 120 divided by 8 is 15, right? Okay. So I have 15 here. So we will have minus 15 VB and 0 0.24 multiplied by 15 is 3.6. Okay. So we'll have 3.6. Okay. So let's plug in VB is 0 volt. So we'll have 3.6 minus 15 multiplied by 0. And this will be 2 multiplied by 0. And minus 2 VA. Okay, we will have 3.6 here on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I will have minus 2 VA. And so we will have VA here. VA is equal to minus. 1.8 and the unit will be volt. and this is the answer for b so pa is minus 1.8 volt okay and what's next we can calculate ia right what is ia ia uh, ia is pb minus pa divided by 60 IA is VB minus VA 
divided by 60. What is VB? VB is 0. 0, 4, and then PA. PS minus 1.8, so I will have plus 1.8, and divided by 60. So we will have IA is equal to 1.8 divided by 60. 1.8 divided by 60. Okay, so I will have 0 0.03. 0 0.03. The unit here is milliampere because this is in volt and 60 is in kilo ohm. Or we can write IA here as what is it? 30. 30 microampere. Okay, so we will have this IA is 0 0.03 milliampere or that will equal to 30 milli. Okay, that is a nice value. And now let's move on to C and D. Okay, let's clean up the slide first because it's full. Okay, so far we got P, A, and I, A. And now let's find out P, 0 by doing KCL at P, A. So we'll have KCL at P, A. KCL at P, A. Okay, what can we do from here? Here, we will have PB minus PA divided by 60 as the current that goes in. So, we'll have PB minus PA divided by 16. And the other currents are going out. So, we will have that will equal to, we will have PA divided by 40 here. PA divided by 40. And then plus... PA minus P0 divided by 30. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides here by 120. So we will have 2VB minus 2VA. That will equal to, this will be 3VA plus, what is it, 4VA minus 4 p0 okay uh and then we can move this around so we'll have 4 p0 is equal to 9 pa right 3 plus 4 plus 2 that will be 9 right and then minus 2 vb minus 2 vb okay let's plug in pa and vb remember that VB is 0 and PA is minus 1.8. So we will have 4 P0 and that will equal to 9. What is VA? Minus 1.8. And then minus 2. What is VB? VB is 0. So we will have 4 P0. Uh, that will equal to okay, 9 multiplied by minus 1.8. That will be minus 16.2, minus 16.2, and so we will have P0 is the, this one divided by 4, right? So we will have minus 4.05, minus 4.054. Okay, so we got the answer of C, we will have minus 4. 0.054 for P0. Okay, and the last one that we need to find out is I0. Okay, maybe let's clean up the board first. Okay, let's continue here. We can find out I0 by doing KCL at P0. Okay, let's do exactly that. KCL at P0. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one here, and that will be Va minus V0 divided by 30. And then all the other currents is going out, and that is I0 here, I0 plus V0 minus 0 divided by 20. So we'll have V0 minus 0 divided by 
Okay, we can just plug in the value of PA and V0. PA, we will have minus 1.8 minus V0. So we'll have plus 4.05. Then divided by 30. And then we will have I0 plus V0. V0 is minus. So I will have minus here. So we will have minus sign here and 4.05 divided by. Okay, maybe let's rearrange this. So I0 is just want to switch that 4.05 minus 1.8 divided by 30. And then plus 4.05 divided by 20. Okay, this is all numbers. We can just plug all of that into our calculator. Okay, what is I0? 4.05 minus 1.8 divided by 30. And then plus 4.05 divided by 20. Okay, and I will have 0 0.2775 0 0.2775 the unit here will be milliampere or we can rewrite that in microampere so i will have 277.5 microampere and this is the answer for the question d which is 277.5 micro and I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.